primetime potent, keep it entertaining, you already know it, I'm working everybody and he don't ever quit, talking about plenty comics like Graveyard Shift, Sea Dogs, Viking Wolf, US Assassin, doing just what he loves, this is his passion, bring more value to your dollar, no I'm not fronting, that's how Just a Writer became a moral compass, this is primetime potent, uh, this is primetime potent, let's go.
What's up, everyone? Happy Sunday. It's the Moral Compass. Poppy. This is the Rive in Pain Horror Movie Club, episode 43. Today we're talking Festival of the Living Dead. Joining me, my co-host Dexter Weeks. What's up, Dex? What's up, everyone? What's going on? <laughs> <laughs> and also, third man in the booth. You've seen him in Monster Squad. It's Rudy. What's up, Rudy? <laughs> <laughs> What's up, everybody? Enrico Bada joins us as well. What's up, Enrico? Uh, whenever, you, whenever you wear that leather jacket, man, I just see Rudy from Monster Squad. It's either it's the leather or the denim jacket. I get both, you know. Yeah, I love it. <laughs> <laughs> How's everyone doing this weekend? Yeah, not too bad, not too bad. Good, man. I've been up since uh, 5 a.m. <laughs> took uh, Missy to the airport. Uh, then I went and took care of my dogs there. They, they haven't moved in with us yet. Yeah. And then uh, then I went to the gym with uh, Chris Graves. I should have told him while we were working out that we do a horror movie show every uh, Sunday. Yeah, is he aware of this? Or? Yeah, I think he would have loved to uh, to have joined us. Uh, <laughs> I, I, think, I think Chris likes horror movies. I, I don't know. We'll have to talk uh, uh, next week when we work out. <laughs> this, this is what, number 43, you said, Mark? 43, yeah. Out of the 43, how many movies do you think Chris has watched? Great, dude. <laughs> Great. Uh, he, was, he was very dedicated early on. He watched them all. I got you. And then somewhere along the way, he, uh, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> it's always a surprise, though, when he does pop in and join us. That is true. His, his ears are probably burning right now. So <laughs> maybe he'll join us. Everyone having a good weekend? Yeah, we finally got some nice weather here. I mean, you know, it's been yeah. raining for like a week and a half, so it's nice to see the sun. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I, I had some beautiful weather in Florida uh, last week for my birthday. Uh, Enrico uh, heard about it uh, Wednesday, but uh, Dex, you and I were talking about it before we uh, went live. I did uh, three days at Legoland, one day at Gatorland. Gatorland was so much fun. I was surprised. <laughs> yeah. Uh, we did some off-roading. We did uh, zip lining. Zip lining, man. I, I got uh, I got suckered uh, into that. Dex, I only thought it was like I thought it was like Great Adventure, where you like start at the top of a hill and just zip line to the bottom of it, and you're yeah. done. Because it's because only fifteen dollars extra with your admission. Okay. I I, I zip lined uh, from tower to tower five different times. It was like a two-hour adventure. Oh wow. And we we were up pretty high, man. That first time, not gonna lie, I was shaking a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> well, it sounds like you had a good time, man. Yeah, it was a lot of fun. Uh, yeah, we, we um we got to uh, zip line over some alligators, and uh, every time I was like, "This gotta be the last one." Finally, we get to like tower, I don't know, four or five, and I don't I don't see any more wires. So I'm like, "Oh, we're done." We're just going to walk to the bottom. No, there's like a wire bridge that I have to like hook myself onto and walk across the, the wire. I was like, oh, my God, this is <laughs> terrifying. <laughs> it was like an adventure. It wasn't just a, a zip line and thing. Yeah, know? no, I'm glad I did it, though. It was a, it was a lot of fun. Yeah, I want to do that. It sounds fun. Um, did, did you get then, to try to eat any gator? Did you ever, ever have it? or? No, I had alligator before. Um I was at some, I don't know, I was up in Pennsylvania somewhere, and uh, this this <clears throat> small little place we, we went to had, uh, like, alligator gumbo, and it, I don't know, it, it just reminded me of uh, chili. It was very spicy. Gotcha. Yeah. yeah it's kind of gamey. <laughs> <laughs> no. Uh, we're uh, we're ten minutes in, and uh, I've neglected the chat. Of course, first man in who else? Who will? Pick. He he had a couple uh, comments. Uh, he commented so early though; those ones disappeared. But he says, uh, "Very interesting." Uh, his his uh, other comments were uh, very controversial. Pick by TMC. We're, we're talking about the Saska sisters, uh, a hot button topic on uh, social media in the in the comic industry. Anyway, uh, they're working for Eric July. Uh, now people are talking about their past. 
I know someone in the chat the other day was saying that the movie was going to probably be filled with uh, pee and vomit. Uh, <laughs> but uh, I, I didn't. I, we'll, we'll get into it eventually. I, I didn't see any of that in uh, Festival of the Living Dead. There was some, vomit. Get some vomit. Yeah, some yeah, vomit. Yeah. Some yeah. Little yeah. bit of vomit. Yeah. Yeah. They, they weren't. Uh, I mean, I guess that's their calling card. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so you, you guys got me. There was some vomit in it. We got uh, Dex pulling double duty. He's in the chat as well. Glacier Mountain Comics. What is that? Is that a, a cupcake and a wolf? What is that? I don't know. Snowman. A snowman and a wolf. Snowman. Okay. Ice wolf. There you go. Glacier Mountain. Amanda B says stall for 20 driving home. Oh, I, I bet you uh, wish I did the old intro then. The one that used to always <laughs> complain about. <laughs> Yeah, well, we'll, we'll uh, we, we usually wait a while before we get into the movie talk, so I, I think you're safe, Amanda. Just uh, you know, drive drive safely, like Dexter says. Yeah, exactly. Uh, Amanda, get off your phone. Just just drive home. <laughs> but uh, who made the intro? I made the intro. I uh, you know, I like to I like to play around with some uh, video software every now and then. I don't I don't have. I wish I had viewers that made me intros or made me uh, you know, funny clips, but. I haven't reached that status yet. Maybe one day. Maybe. <laughs> uh, SF Gaming in the house. Hail Comics Gate. Hail SF, SF Gaming. What up? Oh, Missy Dran, we were just talking about you. What's up, Missy? She's uh, she's back in Florida, so she's enjoying some sunny weather. Hey, Missy. Um, Mark Mark Pengren saying hello to everyone. He's the uh. You know, he's our ambassador. He, he welcomes everyone. Uh, he says, Chris Graves, name sounds familiar, vaguely. Yeah, he used to, he used to haunt these, uh, these uh, streams. N not so much anymore. A busy guy, you know. His name's in the title, though, right? You know? Yeah, yeah, you know. I, I want to be ready for when he does uh, show up. <laughs> <laughs> Amanda Beat Ballers corrupted him. Oh, he's a big star now. We we you know when when we get him, you know it's a it's you know it's um, an event. Yeah, it's a big big thing. <laughs> uh, Amanda B says Pitfall Live. Yeah, it was sort of like that. Uh, <laughs> zip lighting. <laughs> <laughs> Did you bring back any trinkets, man? Or like Mark Tengren, I missed the 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 flash. Yeah, we'll we'll, uh, we'll bring back the flash. I, I miss it too. <laughs> Is great, yeah. You, you know, we, we got, on this one or the other one, uh, that was always the uh, the revolution, yeah. That's what they thought it's longer, yeah. So, I got I gotta add that, I gotta bring that back. Um, you know, we're doing our, our duty, you know, making people aware of uh, <laughs> Ezra <Yeah>. Miller, <laughs> but uh, <laughs> Seth, we gotta make our own song, we got we, we got we gotta record our own song, yeah. I mean, I got a basement of uh, musical instruments, yeah. Mark's Inspired the, by the uh, the Flash song, I, I think it's gonna it's gonna be very similar. Um, uh, sad news though, you know, everyone who loves the uh, the the Ezra Miller song, uh, Froggy Fresh uh, announced his retirement. Um, he's not gonna. He's, he says he's losing too much money trying to pursue pursue his dreams as uh, Froggy Fresh. So uh, we'll we'll always have the Ezra Miller song, man. <laughs> Uh, Mark Pengren says, I had to tell Andy Smith in his chat today, EVS was going to live stream the launch of Andy's new book tonight, not at noon. I have to keep everyone's schedules for them. Yeah, uh, Mark Mark made me aware, uh, you know, he lets me know when Graveyard Shift's launching, lets me know that our booth at C2E2 was uh, uh, canceled, uh, let me know that uh, John Malin was uh, his, uh, he bought a ticket as a fan because he was still going to show up. Uh, and he was he was informed that he's not welcomed at C2E2. So, uh, yeah, M Mark. He's a true ambassador. He, he is. He yeah. keeps us all on our toes and lets us know, uh, you know, what we got going on. Uh, Mark, uh, you know, Missy's away, so I have a pretty light schedule. So whatever, you know, whatever I'm supposed to be doing, just let me know. All right. Thank you. I, I think there's potential for Penguin to be like, I don't know, like an agent or something. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Got some skills, yeah. 
He's, uh, you know, for those that uh, aren't aware, every now and then Mark will pay, uh, will uh, live stream with me and uh, Sean Aaron uh, talking comics. We talked uh, Rob Liefeld's Last Blood, and we talked the new Joe Casey series, Dutch, which uh, I just picked up uh, issue number two, so we'll have to do another live stream soon. Where, where is he uh, located anyway? Where's Ice Pick at? I, I can't. I can't. Uh, oh, you can't I disclose? Can't, can't Dox Mark Penguin's location. <laughs> I was saying we can maybe go out and visit him sometime, Mark. <laughs> maybe that would be awesome. Maybe if we, we'd see him at a convention. Well, we're all going to meet up in Orlando in October for Halloween. <laughs> that's the uh, that's the rumor. Yeah. That's the rumor. Any conventions happening in Orlando in October around that, that time? Maybe we could hit a convention and do horror nights. Maybe it's a a work trip. That would be fun. Oh, breaking news. Mark Pengren, Mainland publicly told everyone that you're starting to fulfill his triple cover, covered campaign on Monday. So there's that. Is that news to you, Mark? Well, <laughs> we're, we're waiting on one book. Uh, there's three books, but they each have two covers. One of the books, the second cover hasn't arrived yet. So uh, we're waiting on the, the Cyber Frog uh, cover with the logo. So once we have that, and once John sends me all the order information, then we can fulfill it. So if John can uh, send me the the, the spreadsheet, we'll, we'll get to work, man. Speaking of fulfillment, we're uh, finishing up uh, Ride and Peen fulfillment. Uh, finally, you know, as I mentioned earlier, uh, went to the gym with Chris Graves. Chris had a whole uh, stack of artwork for me, uh, original art from the book. 11 by 17 uh, commissions that uh, people uh, backed in the campaign, as well as uh, sketches that everyone in the pain pack got. So, yeah, I saw some of the ones he was posting, man. They look really great. Yeah, it's been a, been a, been a busy day after the gym. I just uh, started uh, packaging up those pain packs. They take a while, though, because you get all four covers, you get the oversized black and white edition. You get the trading card set with the bonus uh, Kevin Conrad foil card. You get the sketch. And then uh, what else do you get? Oh, all the all the freebies, all the uh, stretch goals, like the two prints, the three extra trading cards, the magnet. Uh, a lot goes into putting those packages together. So uh, maybe, I, maybe I should uh, tag in my sons and have them uh, help me. <laughs> <laughs> you got they've, two, right? So they've been having a lazy Sunday just uh watching TV. There you go. Uh, Amanda B's happy the uh the triple covers are being fulfilled. Or or nah, she's probably happy about the uh the Rise and Pain uh artwork because she she bullied that Chris Graves into <laughs> uh doing eleven by seventeen uh commissions. <laughs> oh, speak of the devil, there he is. He heard his ears burning. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Chris, I what forgot up? to mention at the gym. You're always welcome to join us. We do this horror movie show every Sunday, 5 p.m. I know I you you claim you like horror. Um, so feel free if you want to join us uh any Sunday. Next week I already picked out I, I, I scoured uh Tubi. Tubi's been coming up with some really good ones lately. I'm telling it, man. Literally. Um, I found I found I think I found a hidden gem on there. I, I think everyone I already know Mark Penguin's gonna love this uh, next movie we pick. Amanda B's gonna probably roll her eyes at it. <laughs> I, I think Dex, I think you're gonna love it. Okay. En Enrico will probably like he'll be critical of it, but he'll okay. still like it. I think. Look oh, forward. everyone's happy to see Chris Graves. He lives. <laughs> Chris, uh, Chris laughing at us. But uh, yeah, thanks for thanks for at least uh, hopping in the chat, Chris. Chris uh, and and his son, man, they they put me through a, a workout today at the gym. I was like, man, I gotta I gotta like box books later. I can't can't be too tired. You gotta be able <laughs> to move, right? <laughs> yeah. Uh, speaking of speaking of rise and pain, though, guys, uh, you can sign up for uh, book two. We're uh, wrapping up uh, fulfillment on book one. But book two is av uh, available now for sign up. Uh, Chris and I are hoping to launch it sometime this year. I think uh, the plan is for Chris to uh, just carve out two months uh, in his schedule and just draw the whole book. So we'll, we'll hopefully we'll get uh, Rising Pain book two out to you guys uh, this year. 
that I would love to do. Uh, I know Chris probably like want to strangle me when I say this, but I would love to do a Rhyme and Pain book every year. But uh, it, I know it's tough in any comics, but <laughs> I, I can dream. I can dream. <laughs> oh, look at look at Amanda B. Doing my work for me. Thank you, Amanda B. Uh, also available, not much longer, Graveyard Shift Volume 5. I believe there's only, uh, Mark Penguin probably knows better than me, but I believe there's only five days left. Let's bring up the campaign. Uh, Graveyard Shift Volume 5, just killing it. We are at $114,995. We're uh, we're five dollars away from one hundred and fifteen thousand dollars, guys. So uh, thank you. Uh, over thirteen hundred uh, backers. Five days remaining. Uh, Artist of Jawbreakers and writer of Hawkman. You know what? We got to change this. We got to start billing me the writer of Evangeline. Now that that's the uh, major major motion pictures in the works. Yeah. Any uh, any fan casting for you guys? Who would you uh, want to cast as Evangeline? I think who didn't they pick somebody already, Mark? I thought you you posted. Who, uh, no, well, so uh, Olivia Wilde is oh, right. uh, directing. Margot Robbie's company is producing, but that's oh. how Bar Barbie started. Where it was just announced that Margot Robbie was producing it, and then eventually they said, "Oh, she's going to star in it." So I think a lot of people just assume Margot Robbie's going to star in it. Mm, that could be interesting. Hmm. I think yeah. Ryan Gosling would be good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ryan Gosling, perfect uh, Evangeline. Anyone can be Evangeline, man. <laughs> That's what I mean. I mean, hey, there's, uh, you know, the girl from Ozark is Silver Surfer, so why not Ryan Gosling as Evangeline? I think I love it. It's forward thinking, Enrico. Uh, good job. You know, we we um, we sort of during our run, uh, I, I say our run because uh, Dex was on the book as well. We had Evangeline when her body was uh, in danger. Her essence could uh, travel and go into another. Uh, body so yeah that's so possible yeah. Who's, who's to say you know her essence could go into uh ryan gosling <laughs> <laughs> do you think ryan gosling could go into evangeline uh probably he, he's a good looking guy he probably has a good shot <laughs> so mark are we allowed to bring that back into print then or <laughs> so uh uh rob announced that there's a evangeline omnibus uh, okay. volume one Mm -hmm. uh, Marat Michaels' company, Counterpoint Comics, is going to uh, crowdfund it. Okay. Um, so it's going to be all the original stuff uh, from the 90s, the John Stinsman stuff. But, you know, fingers crossed, it is uh, called Volume 1. So hopefully, mm -hmm. you know, there'll be a Volume 2 and we'll see our work uh, uh, published. I just hope they have the files because I know I, I don't think I have the files anymore. I don't, I don't know if I do either. <laughs> I have to double check, Mark. Maybe, you probably maybe. Have somewhere on some old Western digital hard drive, like yeah, you know, fire. I have, a, I have a couple. Uh, I have a couple hard drives I could check. Maybe uh, Owen has them. Maybe Image Comics has them. Who knows? Yeah. Oh, look who it is, man! Chris Graves. There he is. Yo, what is going on, boys? What's up? You had to oh. check out this new show that we do, right? Yeah, right? Man, it's not bad. It's not bad. <laughs> Chris is going to say, first of all, I didn't give you the rights to use the name. Uh, <laughs> take we're, it down. We're, we're not there. We're not there yet. You know? But haunted pizza movie review sounds good, you know. Yeah, that, um, that's the, the that's the fallback. That's the. Uh... <laughs> uh, so, spoiler alert! I didn't watch this movie, but we're just going to say it sucks. All right. Oh come on, Chris. Well, that's that's your part in this. You gotta you gotta everything I love. You just gotta tear down. Yeah, crush it. <laughs> Mark Penguin. Oh, Bob, Go ahead. Uh, Penguin's asking the important questions. Wait, how's the man to be dropping links while driving? <laughs> That's why I told her, be safe. Yeah. Yeah. He's using Siri to do that, man. Yeah, AI. Oh, Bob, oh man. Also, awesome says, job on the fucking... Uh, says it's been 20 man. minutes, however. I have not I, unloaded the car. I to stay today. Jeez. <laughs> I'm sorry, Chris. I talked over you. What'd you say? It's all good. I said, uh, letting Bot know that the figurines came out awesome. You know, first time. Oh, oh yeah. I, I, I delivered one to uh, Chris today. So thank awesome you. Stuff, man. Thanks, man. I'm glad you like it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. 
Oh, yeah. They were they were fun. Amanda B says, or you can go with multi-talented. Yeah, I, I love the well. You know, I, I'm glad you're safe in your home, but uh, I love the idea of you uh, multitasking while driving. And uh, <laughs> yeah, priorities are links. Yeah, you know. You know, I got to finish the set now. So since Rising Pain Two is coming out, it's got to be a ride statue. Yeah, that's what we were uh, discussing. Uh, a, a nice little ride, like on top of uh, maybe a little cloud of mist or something, you know, floating in the air. Yeah. Um, it's like, hold on, man. Oh. <laughs> oh, there's all kinds of stuff we could do as long as, long as we have the budget for the material. I mean, we could cast mm -hmm. that uh, cloud of, in, in like a fluorescent clear green resin and have her sitting on that. Right. Oh, that'd be sweet. Yeah. I love it. So, uh, you know, anything's possible in this day and age. Uh, Mark has an idea if we can't find those old Evangeline files. He says, uh, just have Chris Graves redraw them all. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, if, you know, if uh, my man is actually, you know, is going to pay me, I'm down. <laughs> <laughs> we didn't make a lot of money on eventually, so yeah. <laughs> I don't, I don't know if that's in the budget. Yes, <laughs> I, I'm sure they'll make some good money on our omnibus, though, if it happens. Yeah, I'm sure. Yeah, is, did I hear right? They're making a movie out of that. Yeah, yeah, uh, Rob uh, starring Ryan Gosling. <laughs> Rob Liefeld. Uh, you know, announced it uh, last week. Uh, he's working with Olivia Wilde, who's on as director. Uh, Margot Robbie's company is producing. Uh, Simon Kinberg, who uh, produced X-Men, uh, is uh, involved as well. So a lot of people are speculating Margot Robbie's going to star in it. Oh. Yeah. So maybe get some tits and ass, huh? <laughs> I don't know, though. It's, she's, so, she's so typecast now as Harley Quinn. Like, she'll probably, you know, try to break break out of but mm. being something else in another comic book property that close to her casting as a harley don't you think it's going to be you know con conflict kind of maybe I, I saw i mean evans from uh what the fuck captain america was in fantastic Four. Yeah, and, yeah captain america yeah scott I mean, pilgrim I how, and... <laughs> yeah i don't know how close it was um Maybe he'll be able, she'll be able to pull it off. I mean, I'll watch it. Yeah, no, I would be um, I I would, I would be fine with Margot Robbie as uh, as Evangeline. Someone tagged me in a poll and said, uh, you know, maybe Sydney Sweeney. I, I know Chris, you're a fan. <laughs> <laughs> yep. So uh, you know, there, there's uh, plenty of choices. You know, and and, and, and like Enrico said, uh, Evangeline could be anyone. It could be Ryan Gosling. In this day and age, man, who fucking knows? I like he's Ryan Gosling. I guess, dude. He's, yeah. one my, he's my favorite, man. I'm telling you. Hmm. But uh, <laughs> Graveyard Shift Volume Five, guys. Five more days. Thank you for all the support. Uh, the Chris Graves print is uh, unlocked, and I believe it's all done. So, Chris, uh, Chris is just uh, banging out all his. Uh, yeah, uh, been, headlines. Been yeah, busy man. Just busy like, man. I, you know, part of the reason it's trying to knock out the rise and pain uh, eleven by seventeens, and then the old. Hey, we have nine sketches. Oh, I meant thirty nine sketches. I, I forgot the, the, the secret ones. The secret ones. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Just just thirty extra ones. That's all. Just, just blame just blame uh, Amanda B. She's the one who bullied you into those eleven by seven. She did bully me. Yeah, yeah. Very aggressive. Yeah, you have no problem saying no to me, but Amanda B just like uh, yeah. whatever she wants. She, be, she is the queen, queen, right? Yeah. Queen B. Uh, queen B. Also, guys, uh, U.S. Assassin Volume 4. Uh, sign up for it. We're, we're coming to Indiegogo, uh, but we're also on Fund My Comic, uh, whichever whichever platform you uh, choose. But uh, Indiegogo, we're going to have a brand new uh, John Stinsman cover plus Comic Con exclusives. They were going to be exclusives uh, for uh, C2E2. We'll, we'll, we'll unveil them at the next convention. <laughs> mm. uh, Chris, you still going to C2E2? I don't, I don't think I'm going to make it for that, man. Yeah. Um, no, I'm still, I'm still, uh, it. Yeah, I'm still uh, planning to going out to that. So, uh, well, well, you already have some plane tickets, right? Oh, I mean, that to go. Seems like. Lost, bro. 
Oh, well, I already had a flight, so I'm either going to uh, C2E2 or going to a Cubs game. Or maybe I'm doing mm. both. Who knows? Are but, you uh, actually going to the con now, or are you doing the um, like the meet and greet at, at like a at like a I mean, I'm out there. So uh, I know they told John that he wasn't welcome there. Yeah, but uh, as, as my good friend Mark Pengren says, Mark, you'd probably fly under the radar. <laughs> so... <laughs> Thanks, Mark. But uh, what Mark's trying to say is you're, you're not really important. So. <laughs> oh, fuck. Ike, pin, Ike, Ike pick strikes again. Uh, oh, I, I know oh, what he's man. saying. I know what he's saying. Yeah, but, I know what he said. What he meant. <laughs> well, Mark, but, maybe, uh, yeah, no, I, I maybe think I, keep, uh, the booth then. Maybe if the booth is available, maybe you can get it now, right? <laughs> maybe. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit! I mean, yeah, I am the the writer of uh, Evangeline, soon to be a major motion picture. Maybe they would uh, just yeah. you know give me and the invite. writer of DC's Hawkman. I mean, yeah. that's that's, yeah. that's good. Yo, how fucking wild would they be? If, it would be if they use like some of your stories in that. Yeah, and you get that fucking royalty. No, oh. yeah, I don't know about any royalties, <laughs> but come on, man, you gotta think positive. Think positive. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, 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 I'd take a thank you. That would be nice. Oh, fuck that. Mark, do we have to lawyer up or like what's happening, man? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Show me fucking money. Well, we, we created a lot of characters, Dex. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> uh, uh, Mark, man. was that mostly you with that? Or, I, I you know, forgive me. I, I don't know the it's pretty much so, all Mark, history really. of it. Uh, well, Evangeline uh, existed probably 20 years prior to uh, my run. So a lot, you know, there's a lot, a good chunk of material from the 90s okay. uh, with John Stinsman as artist. Um, and then, uh, you know, Rob was uh, nice enough to uh, let us bring it back in 2011. It was uh, me as writer, Owen Jenny as artist, mm -hmm. and uh, Dexter Weeks as, uh, you know, uh, color, letterer. And uh, oh, nice. we, had, we had a good run. We did. We did about 11 issues. Eight of them were published. Okay. Uh, then it was like out of nowhere canceled. And we had all this uh, material uh, in the can. So we uh, went on as a web comic on uh, Keen Spot. The, the book is actually still there uh, mm. up on Keen Spot. You can read the whole run. Um, and it, it was one of the most popular web comics at the time. Uh, Dex, and he, Dex and I even signed at their booth one, uh, San Diego Comic Con. But at one point, we had half a million readers to the uh, webcomic. Oh, wow. That's fucking Yeah, it was, it was cool. We got a hardcover collection of the book out. Um, we signed with Rob at uh, New York Comic Con. New York, yeah. Yeah, yeah no, so. Was that? Yeah. Oh, uh, New York was 2012. It was uh, right before the hardcover came out. I think we were... Mm. I think issue four maybe had just come out. We were signing that. But uh, that's when Rob gave me my favorite advice in uh, all of comics. Uh, he says, we're here to make money, not change. Books are $5 now instead of three. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's right. <laughs> Real quick, I, you know, um, we talked about maybe Wednesday or something, but I, I've been listening to his Rob Servations uh, podcast. Yeah. yeah. And, dude, he's just a great storyteller, man. Like, he, you know, he's fun to listen to. But I'm telling you, there is a deep-seated, and I know he'll say otherwise, there's a deep-seated hatred for Todd McFarlane, I think. Oh, yeah. I mean, uh, it's, it is so fun. Because he'll be like, you know, he'll do the impressions. He's like, and by no way do I mean this disparaging, and I, I really like Todd, and this, that, and the other thing. And then right after that, it's like just negative, 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 <laughs> negative. It's so goddamn funny, man. But, yeah, I, I didn't realize there was like a like – a, a hatred I there, think or like a history there. <laughs> yeah. yeah, definitely, definitely some history there. Uh, Amanda B says they can't ban the moral compass. Uh, mm. TMC, did you see that bar tried to steal your name, Matt Bar? Oh, is he trying to be the moral compass? Um, no, I don't know. trying to be Mark Fulton. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I don't, I don't, uh, I haven't been keeping up with Matt Bar. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> He's trademark it ASAP. I think most people mm. know the moral compass. But uh, I don't know. At one point, even John said he was the moral compass of... Uh, I believe John. 
Um, Mark Penger says, where did you find all that unrelated comic stuff you were working on the past that you were posting the other day? Unreleased. Unreleased. Where'd you find all that? Holiday unreleased? Commandos? Didn't you post Holiday Commandos? Holiday Commandos? Uh, did I post that? Yeah, because somebody said somebody has a book out already about that kind of stuff. Oh, yeah. Uh, Pat Nat Oswald has a Holiday Commandos type book out. We, we started that, Dex. We started Maybe that he back. stole it from us, Mark. <laughs> Maybe. Um, I don't know. I, I posted a bunch of uh, Evangeline stuff. Yeah. Um, so there's uh, everything that was done is uh, on Keen Spot, except there's uh, six pages to wrap up the the first story arc, and they were never released. I, I have them all, but mm -hmm. uh, it, it would have been it would have been cool. Oh, uh, Passover. Oh, those were um, we we ran promos leading up to the book, uh, promo shots of all the characters, and uh, Passover was one of them. Um, we we wanted to start. Well, I wanted to start the book at issue fifty for Evangeline because I did some like uh, creative number uh, numbering of all the issues in mini mini series, and like Avatar released the book for a little while. And I was like, oh, we'll start our our run at issue fifty. And then that was shot down. Oh, uh, Penguin says, and a Mike McMahon unreleased Coney Waves crossover. Yeah, that was called Devil's Son. It was Coney Waves and uh, Cade, which was Arcana's uh, top char character. Right. I was going to have a bunch of. Uh, oh, yeah, I saw that. Yeah, I was going to have a bunch of uh, appearances from indie comics characters. Uh, Captain Action was going to be in there. Uh, Hack and Slash made a uh, cameo appearance. Um, mm. Yeah, it, it just uh, it, it got canceled. Uh, Mike Mike was uh, good ways into it, maybe like uh, close to twenty pages, but uh, you know, life happened and uh, we had to cancel the book. But uh, I, I have a bunch. I have a bunch of uh, ash cans. Uh, still of a uh, devil's son we we released that the same day we released the graveyard shift ash can at wizard world philly back in 2010 uh, yeah 10 i think so good times well I, well I got you here and you know chats in here whatever yeah so did you see the um the guy making like the side scroller uh pixel video game for cyber frog mm -hmm. i would kill I mean, I don't give a fuck if it's just one level, but yeah, like I would kill to have something like that, you know, just like it's like ride, you know, she's running around you yeah. know, killing monsters, a, a power up or like her health goes down real low and then she you hit a button and then fucking pain just comes and clears the fucking map. You know what I mean? Like, awesome. crazy, crazy shit like that. And then I remembered, um, uh, you know, Father Evil, right? Yeah. The guy that goes around just like the, mm -hmm. the dark priest. So um, he. I'm a little bit of a buddy of his, and then he recommended me to do a comic for him for this uh, company that is going to was going to do a video game for him. And I was thinking uh, maybe I'll reach out, man, and just let him know, like you know, all your accomplishments, you know, the stuff that we've done. Show him some ride and pain stuff, and see if he's interested in doing uh, something in that respect, like uh, video game wise, because that's one of, he does a lot of media, but one of them is like games like that. Yeah, no, that'd be so, awesome. Yeah. 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 Work your magic, Chris. Oh, fuck. I don't have any magic, but I'll, I'll, you know, I'll message that motherfucker. <laughs> All right. So I, I think we're through everything. Time to talk the movie. Uh, yeah. We're talking uh, the Saska Sisters Festival of the Living Dead. Oh, God. Uh, to the original Saska Sisters, very uh, popular in our community right now, or unpopular, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> Very ballsy of you, Mark. I see what you're doing here. This is all this is retribution for fucking the other bullshit. And this I, I see hey, what you're doing. This this movie was this movie was uh, a, a sequel to the original mm. Night of the Living Dead. Uh, takes place in the same town. Uh, every, for their anniversary, they have this big rock festival. I guess to uh, honor all the people that died in the original zombie apocalypse. Yeah. And uh, some teens head out to this festival. Mm. And what do you know? Zombies, zombies attack. <laughs> yeah. Wait, no, I, 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 I missed. How did the zombies, how did it start? Like, I know you had the one guy come. Meteor. The meteor. You know, yeah. 
Oh, how did I miss that? Okay, all right, whatever. When when the uh, the one uh, teen ran off into what was a Cuddle Cove? Yeah. He found the the meteor. Uh, oh. Is that the one yeah. they had the video on? Was that the, the first guy that was contaminated and they showed it like a viral video? Or was that just No, the, the kid that turned on the, the group okay. and ran off. Yeah. Uh, Mark says, uh, so the meteor was new? Yeah, another, another meteor, I guess. Or was it the original oh. meteor yeah. that they just... Uh, kind of sworn in the beginning, you see something in the sky falling. So, yeah. So I oh, guess it is new. Too. Good do spot, yes. uh, the black and white one? No, and if this no, 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 man. I thought it goes right to the graveyard. Or if we're talking, no. Okay. All right. Uh, so he the, says the guy snorted having, the Stardust the meteor. Festival. Yeah, the, the meteor hits. They're having the <laughs> festival. The teens want to go. The teens are babysitting. So the, the two don't go, right? So they're babysitting. Yeah, and uh, the the all the friends come over, and they were like, the the one boyfriend was like, "We got tickets, we have to go." And the the main character, she's like, "Oh, I have to ba babysit my uh, brother." Her friend says, uh, "I'll watch your brother. You go." And uh, so she's off. She ditches her best friend, <laughs> leaves her, <laughs> leaves her with the with the brother. Yeah, right. And, and, and her friend, her other friend. And on the way there, uh, the uh, there's a a road stop. The the police are uh, stopping people from uh, entering, and the, the one guy, the boyfriend, was like, "I know a back way through back roads," and he like pulls off the road into the woods, and uh, you know they had it they had it blocked off because they knew that area was already contaminated. So yeah, the, the team Un unknowingly drive into this contaminated area. Uh, they hit a zombie with their car. Well, the yeah, yeah, they, yeah. They hit the zombie like I know what you did last summer style. Exactly. <laughs> and uh, you know the cars cars wrecked, or one friend has a broken leg. Um, and they're like, "Oh, we'll go to the festival. Try to get help. We'll leave the the girl with the broken leg there with her sister in the car." And don't worry, we'll be back for you. Uh, they, they they walk to the festival, and it's just like dead. <laughs> yeah, those people are people are like the people that are there are kind of like stumbling know, around and yeah, kind of like Coachella, you know. And they, they don't think much of it because they just think they're probably stoned or something. So they keep going further into the into the festival area. Uh. Mark says, was the main character's grandpa supposed to be the black guy from the original movie? Yes. That's yeah. Cool. You know that. Yeah, it's cool. So when they're they're talking about the the festival, um, they do show a picture of the, the guy from the original movie on the wall, and they establish that it's the, the main character's grandfather. And and he had he had advice uh uh that he passed down to his to his family that um it's okay to be scared as long as you're doing the right thing so that that'll come into play that's like the moral of the uh <laughs> story with great power comes great responsibility yeah. man he says uh there did seem to be some significance with the grandpa and his picture yep he's from the original movie uh how did they not look for the guy they hit i think they did look for him and they, he was nowhere to be found <laughs> yeah fuck it <laughs> um and this is not creepy at all man to be a mark do you think tmc takes notes for the summary no it's all it's all up here <laughs> it's like a steel trap <laughs> yeah. um so yeah they're at the uh they're at the festival. They can't find like anyone to uh, get help. They go to the um, the first aid station, and there's a girl there freaking out. They think she's on uh, mushrooms, but uh, I, I guess she snorted. I guess that's how it started. They they, they were snorting the meteor dust from the fresh uh, meteor, and they uh, that's what turned them into zombies. Why would they do that? <laughs> kids, man, kids today will try anything. I guess. 
Sort all for the all for the gram, the Instagram. Yeah, right? <laughs> sorting up their bath salts over there. Wasn't wasn't mm. someone uh, live streaming their death as they got eat? <laughs> they were oh, yeah. Yeah. They had their camera out, yeah, holding the holding the phone out as he was getting, and then it's eventually his hand just drops. <laughs> uh, Amanda B says Tide Pods, Enrico Tide Pods. Yeah, that's right, right, Tide Pods. Uh, Mark Penger says, seems like fire festival scenario. $1,000 a ticket for that experience is lean. Hold up, hold up. Back uh, for a bot real quick. I, no, it was bath salts too, right? Because the it was like the one guy that was eating somebody's face. Mm -hmm. That's I, right. I think it was like California or something like that. And uh, but maybe, had, it, yeah, it might have been Florida even. Florida, maybe it was Florida, but he was taking, however you take bath salts, whatever the fuck you do, snort it, shove up your ass. I'm not sure. But, yeah. Yeah, he was chewing somebody's face. Oh, yeah. so, yeah, wow. they, I remember I remember that story. Yeah, they found mm -hmm. him. Did they find him on the side of the highway and just hunched over someone eating, and eating his yeah, face? Yeah, like chewing her face or something. Yeah. Jeez. Uh, Mark Penger says, how is the guy with no legs a delivery guy? Yeah, so uh, I believe his name is Bla what was his name? Blaze, I think. Something, Brad, yeah. something like Blaze. Uh, he, the delivery just the delivery guy who is also their friend stops at the girlfriend's house, the main character's house after they leave. Cause she, he's into the, uh, the best friend and, uh, he, he's hanging out with her and the, uh, the little brother. Um, and, uh, I, I guess they're, they're starting to worry. They see the, the one girl with the, the broken leg. Don't they see her, her, uh, social media post about how she has a broken leg and she's, you know, in the woods so they they venture out to uh rescue them and uh yeah now we have more people heading out into the woods yeah like the little kid talked them into going right didn't they have yeah. Or, yeah and i and i think they 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 knew about the oh they so they saw the the news report because they knew about the zombies because they brought the gun the the gun from the the grandpa's gun mm. yeah so now, was that a shotgun or a rifle i, I couldn't tell like, i think it was a rifle it was a rifle yeah i thought the black guy died in the first in uh my living dead yeah yeah he did spoiler alert yeah, <laughs> yeah but like how did he, like you know he had all these kids i guess but where were those kids at during the show <sighs> fending for themselves ah oh, there. there's a joke there <laughs> <laughs> Uh, Man to be says no, no service. There was another guy that was streaming. Uh, Man to be, although, how did he have service? Right. I don't know. Mm. Maybe he had a hotspot somewhere. I don't know. <laughs> it, it, <laughs> he had Verizon, so you know. There, there was a lot of problems, Mark. A lot of problems in the movie. I really like this movie. I'm not gonna lie. I, 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 I enjoy. Whoa! It. <laughs> Fucking shocker! Get him, Chris. Get him. <laughs> I, here's the thing, I, and Mark. Gives me a problem because like I, I always I don't like anything, but you can't like everything because then like when you say you like something that really holds no value because you like everything, you know what I mean? You gotta find you gotta be able to critique it a bit, right? <laughs> you can saying, it comes off disingenuous when you fucking like everything, god damn it. But I liked <laughs> it. <laughs> You can like everything. You can like Brian De Palma's Heat, and you can like Madam Web. It, it's you know, <laughs> and everything. To be, to be honest, Heat's a little slow. Heat's a little slow. Oh come on, Brian. <laughs> the fucking dude. Well, they're remaking it, Mark. Hates the Matrix the remake. Maybe they'll, they'll move up the pace think, a little bit. Chris, I think we're hitting on something here. I think Mark doesn't like anything good. Good. Ah, uh, yeah. <laughs> Mm. Sorry, Mark. I had to. I have to eat this heat. It's one of That's the best movies point. ever made. Well, wait a minute. His, his favorite movie of all time is Lost Boys. I mean, that, I mean that's, that's the that's ultimate classic. Yeah, that's yeah. Uh, all time. But oh. yeah, no, it's a great movie. He only, I, wait, he only fucks with that, though, because it's got the fucking Corey fuck. <laughs> I feel attacked right now. Come on. No, it's calling a spade a spade. That's all. I, I, it, it, so, it, so everyone here that watched the movie did not like it? It had potential. Oh, it was terrible. No, I didn't mind. I didn't mind. You didn't watch it, Chris. Oh yes, I forgot. <laughs> no, I, didn't mind. I thought I really, I thought it had a lot of potential. I really did. Like the connection between the original, I thought that was amazing. 
It's yeah. just, I don't know. It was like the editing or something. Like, for instance, one, like any scene that they try to get emotional out of it, like there was a couple of emotional scenes. By the time mm. you even felt anything for these characters, boom, they just go to something else. You know, so maybe it was the editing, maybe it was the pacing. There was some pacing. There was some pacing yeah. No, I think I think it felt I think it felt prey to like the same thing that a lot of sort of um you know beginning filmmaker you yeah. know ball you know fall into. Uh, right. Amanda B says the uh, low, the, grand, the, grand, film. the grandpa sowed his oats before his death graves. Does anyone does someone need to give you the birds and bees talk? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, uh, so someone, 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 give me the visual. You know? <laughs> Show me how it's done. Um, no, I get all that. Uh, what I'm saying is, it just seems like there's a lot of, uh, you know, there's a lot of shit going on. And his kids, what were the kids doing? Did they explain what they were doing while dad was not around? Like, did he go get milk? And then you know, just didn't come back. Like, what happened? I don't think that was part of the storyline. No. Nah. <laughs> <laughs> I, I don't think that was touched upon. That is uh, left. Amanda, with, uh, Amanda that B is left says, with the spin-off series. There were lots of what what the f moments and inconsistencies, but I thought it was entertaining. Thank you, Amanda B. Uh, Mark wants to know what was the weird homoerotic tension between the two brothers. Was, I didn't even realize they were brothers until uh, yeah, yeah, <laughs> until later on. Well, Mark, if you know anything about the Saskas, right? Oh, there that, you go. That would there probably you go. explain that. There was a lot of vomit too. So, mm. all right, guys, I apologize. I, I you know, I, I thought maybe you know, give them a. Oh, I've heard. What are you into, Mark? Mm. <laughs> what are you into? This is taking a weird turn. This episode, I think. <laughs> wow, Mark Penger says it was just okay. <laughs> Man. Uh, it was way too low budget for what it was supposed to be. They're supposed to be at this giant festival, but there's literally not even 100 extras. Yeah, I mean, I'll, I'll agree with that, Penguin, because th and that's what I said. It fall, it, I think it falls prey to a lot of things, a lot of low budget movies, that, especially that we review on this channel, like fall fall into. But that's absolutely one of them. It was yeah. low budget for what it was supposed to be. I think it wanted to be something a lot bigger. That's a good way to say it. Yeah, yeah they, they, you know, they, they tried, you know. I don't know if any of you caught like the ending, like some of the zombies at the end, they were just regular people. Like I, I didn't see they just put a little <laughs> blood like from their mouth. They, they were newly dressed zombies. up. You could just tell they're they're their friends or whoever they could get the, for that shot. You know what I mean? I like, think they didn't really, they were walking like zombies, but they just look like well, regular people. Bus level. Yeah. <laughs> Man B, did you think the government shut it down before they arrived? I felt as though the paramedics and cops were called around the same time mm -hmm. after. No clothes off before. Hmm. Good point, Amanda B. Yeah. Possibility. Uh, Amanda B. didn't realize they were brothers until the first one died. Yeah, they kind of left that out a little bit. Uh, that's a lie. That's a lie, Mark. I'm not into mm, it. I <laughs> fucking I knew it. <laughs> yeah. Well, good for you. <laughs> Keep your mouth shut, Mark. <laughs> uh, be honest. How many PTP clubs you go to? <laughs> none, none. All right, all right. Oh, that wasn't in Tampa Bay. Uh, oh, yeah. Amanda B says the the other extras were zombies hiding in the woods until the music played. Jeez, mm. <laughs> oh, Amanda B making perfect sense. Or maybe it's not as good, but I still liked it. Yeah, if you're entertained. <laughs> that's, that's all that matters. So you're allowed to like what you like. I, I'm still giving it a thumbs up. I don't care. That's I'm kind of in the middle. It's weird though, because I'm I kind of get frustrated when I watch a movie and I'm thinking, oh, what I would have done to kind of possibly make it better. You know what I mean? There was a lot of things in this movie. I was like, like, why did you do that? Or just like like we were talking earlier, like pacing, editing. Like at one point, the guy goes running into the the Cuddle Cove or whatever it's called. <laughs> you know, he's getting chased <laughs> by that. It's just actually kind of cool, you know, a cool scene. And then the next shot, he's running in the field. It's like you don't even see him. I don't know. How he got out. Like, yeah. yeah. It's just, it's storytelling. Mm. Exactly. Mark says the special yeah. effects for the drone strike bomb blast at the end wasn't even real CGI. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> all right. You, you guys, you made your point. All right. It's not a great film, but I Stop still like it. It could have been. It really could have yeah. been. I, I like that it was more than the original. 
Yeah. yeah. I, I feel they just bit off more than they could chew with this scene, you know? Yeah. Uh, Amanda B., did anyone see people in the rear view window as the bad brother and kid were driving away? And it seemed like the same people the whole time driving. Mm. <laughs> like they use the same shot. Yeah. Yeah, probably. <laughs> Stock footage. Uh, man to be, but they didn't act like there were zombies on the road. Mm. Mm -hmm. uh, Mark Penger. Also, why would the main girl's parents take their second honeymoon on her birthday? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Another plot hole. Exactly. <laughs> All right. So there's a lot of issues with the movie. Yeah. But you know what? I'm sure, like, like my son used to say when he was little, I'm sure they worked very hard on it. <laughs> 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 so we should give them five stars. That's how you used to rate movies on Netflix. <laughs> mm. I, I like when that one zombie got his face ripped off. That was kind of cool. Yeah. yeah. And I, I, at first, it really uh, angered me when he put the blood on him. And I'm like, how's that going to stop the zombie from not eating him? But then they explained it was like the infected blood. So I guess that kind of makes sense. But uh, it's been done before. Yeah. yeah. Amanda well, B. Walking Dead, right? Does that? Yeah, that's work. right. Yeah, yeah, they do. Amanda B. I think Mark's uh, question was rhetorical, but uh, Amanda B. has the answer. Maybe she's not loved. Maybe there's a good vacation discount. <laughs> like good vacation discounts. Happy birthday, babe. We're going away. We got these. Uh, we got these discounts here. They're only good for you know a certain amount of time. <laughs> Gotta go. Were the Saska sisters in it? Were they the two girls when the main girl started having a bad trip? I feel like they were. I don't know. Yeah, I'm not a Sasa, Saska sister expert. Uh, but they always they're always in their movies. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So they were one. We'll see. They're normally like fondling each other or something. <laughs> yeah. yeah, Mark. I, I I I I assume that was them. But I, I'm not a I'm not a contrary to belief. Like Mark Mark Penguin thinks I picked this movie because the Saskas are so uh, you know controversial right yeah. now. Yeah, yeah. You, know you, did. you think you're slick. You know? It was a 2B original coming hot off the heels of a 2B original I absolutely love called Diced. Yeah. Oh, man, that was crap, too, wasn't it? Ah, oh, come on. It's it's the first ever uh, Terrifier fan film. It had to be. Man, geez. I, you know what? I We talked about it, I think. I, I don't think I made the show. But, I, dude, there was such good stuff for it. But to fall flat on the the, the victims – acting as they were being fucking hacked to death and they're just like uh uh like they're yes, un under act under acting it, that happens yeah, like, in a lot of these movies we watch too like the under acting right like, yeah like I, I don't care if you suck apart, <laughs> yeah. you know he's like Dex, oh. don't ever show uh chris graves my death scene in uh steel spirit <laughs> no -uh. dude i expect better from you i figured you would have went all the fuck out yeah, I, I was a young Mark Poland back then. Yeah, we don't do. Uh, Amanda B says, I didn't care for that one graves. Uh, it had meat, but not enough potatoes. <laughs> I'm with it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, listen, Amanda oh, likes a good set of potatoes on her movie. You know what I mean? But look, <laughs> no, I agree. It, it, it had like a lot of, um, it has to steal a uh, Dexas thing. It's got potential to just miss the mark on some shit. Uh, Corey, Corey Barton uh, in the house. A little late, Corey, yeah. but uh, thanks for joining us. Uh, Corey's here because he knows what I'm going to uh, make everyone watch for next week's uh, show. Or I'm going to play the trailer right now. Mm -hmm. I, I scoured Tubi mm -hmm. looking for the perfect movie because I know you guys are very, uh, I don't know, picky, I guess. Picky. So uh, I looked for a, a film, not just oh. a movie, a film. And I'm, I'm going to play the trailer for you guys right now. I to see this dog shit. Go ahead. Roll it. <laughs> <laughs> Here we go. We're watching the trailer for... Big Top Pee Wee. Astonishing <laughs> Tales of Terror. <laughs> the Big Top Pee Wee is a good movie. Uh, <laughs> I like it. I love I'm, it. I'm rooting for it. I hope it's yeah, Big it's Top Pee Wee. See what you think. <laughs> we're we're going to watch Astonishing Tales of Terror Rock the Pussy. Uh oh, uh -oh. <laughs> yeah. Chris's eyes lit up. Chris's eyes lit up. 
Let's oh go. my Ooh. god. Getting flashbacks from that other strip. Holy shit, Elton John. Oh the fuck? I thought he was gay. Would you care to comment about the allegations of drug use that has plagued your time in office? What the hell is this? You did good, Hunter. Hell, maybe we could finally clean up this city. You know, you can be a real reporter without the dancing. Go. <laughs> Have a good evening. Ooh, we punch. need to get down to where they're holding the experimental mining test. Hey there. Turn it off now. But you wouldn't miss you. What was that? <laughs> Because our parents were a bunch of hippies. We should find a way out of here. Agreed. These ends. Yeah, they're ex. Oh, we are all gonna die horrible, horrible deaths. Did you make it? You're always so gung ho. I follow my gut. Always. Trust me. This is what I do. I chase. Make me understand why I should just let you run off to your death. Because I want to feel that spark of magic. Of possibility of monsters I feel, and adventure. I'm scared. Exactly. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, the other sound. A giant goddamn octopus. Oh, Jesus, I'm shaking. Oh, God, here we go. <laughs> I already like it. No, no, it's, a, it's a movie Chris might actually watch. Oh, no, I'm going to watch that. Who's the fucking lead? The lead chick looks like she's familiar. Yeah, okay, okay, no. that out. Who is that, Mark? I have no idea. Yes, Ice Pick. He might know. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Mark says, there's your pick for the Evangeline yeah. actress. I can dig it. <laughs> oh, damn right. I can dig it. Um, let's she see. Was on, aside from the titties, right? She was on the screen for like fucking 10 seconds, and you already kind of liked her, you know what I mean? Like, that's a type of dig it. Yeah. That's that's acting, Chris. Oh, charisma, oh, yeah, oh, yeah, charisma, Mark. Charisma, <laughs> yeah, she had a couple of charismas, all right. Holy, shit. uh, Amanda B still, Amanda B still uh, captivated with uh, Festival of the Living Dead. She wants to talk more about it. Mm -hmm. Do you really think that Blaze guy got bit? Or was he sacrificing himself because he knew he would weigh them down? He was totally sacrificing himself. I, yeah, think. I don't think he got bit. So. Yeah. And he got to kiss the, the girl he liked uh, afterwards. So, you know, he'll always live on as a hero in her uh, in her mind. But was he, though? I, I'd rather be alive, though. Mark, <laughs> he lights himself on fire in hopes that the zombies run into him to catch on fire. Yeah, that's not the best plan. <laughs> okay. Dude. That loser simped for a little kiss, and he killed himself. Give me a break. Uh, Mark Pengren, he was taking more for the team, not bit at all. Uh, NPC Oasis, this movie is so bad. <laughs> Which one? Awful. He's talking about uh, the one we're watching next week. No way, NPC. The fuck? <laughs> it's probably the best one we've watched in the past six weeks. And that was only the trailer. Well, the, tra the trailer is good. I'll give it that. Uh, Corey says, "Gotta gonna have to send this trailer to Clayton." Yeah, <laughs> Clayton is a, a gentleman of fine taste as well. I think mm. it. <laughs> uh, Amanda B has the answer for you, Bridget Kingsley. All right, that's uh, Chris's favorite actress. A quick Google search never hurt nobody, right? Yeah, there you go. Uh, Corey Barton says, "What's it called? It's called uh, Rock the Pussy." <laughs> There's some other words before it, but rock the pussy. Or yeah. the, there we go. Yeah, Astonishing yeah. tales of terror, <laughs> rock the pussy. Yeah. Could you imagine uh, going to the uh, the ticket booth asking for one of those? Like, <laughs> oh yes, yeah, so one for you know. Uh, rock the pussy. <laughs> <laughs> That's why you have the app, and you just buy your tickets in advance, Dex. <laughs> there you go. Yeah. Uh, Mark says, wait, does Chris honestly think we've only been doing this movie club for six weeks? <laughs> oh, we haven't? Is that how uh, I think that's about that. that's the point about, Yeah, it's the amount of shows I made. Oh, that's <laughs> oh Chris used to have perfect attendance those early days. <laughs> yeah, you know, but, you know, Mark's got some other guys on, so I figured I didn't have to show up to every one of them. 
Now, well, after one week of doing the show by myself, I was like, I need some uh, backup here. <laughs> <laughs> that review was 20 minutes. I was like, screw it. I ain't even. <laughs> yeah, Yo, got I should have warned you about football, man. Football on Sundays, you know what I mean? Sure, uh, NPC uh, says it. it's uh, comically bad, so bad it's almost good type thing. Yeah. That's, that's what we like around here. Give it a shot. You never know. You know, you could be entertaining. entertaining. That's what we're looking for. I mean, at the end yeah. of the day, it don't have to be good or bad because there's like movies that I love that are probably terrible. But as long as it entertains, what the fuck, right? Exactly. Mark's just enter Mark happens to be entertained by everything except movies <laughs> that are good. Did, did you like Madam Web, Mark? I forgot. Did you say you did like that? I didn't think it was bad. I didn't think it was. Don't all. lie. He said it was good. <laughs> said he liked it. He said it today at the gym with my son. I do like it. Well, so what? So what if I like it? There's nothing wrong with that. No, there's there's a lot wrong with that. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, we, we love you, Mark. We love you. <laughs> So next week, rock the pussy, right? Yeah, rock the pussy. Rock the pussy. You're, just, you're just like saying it. That, that, <laughs> that, might be, that might be my next T-shirt, though, Mark. Like that's gonna be your next band. Yeah. <laughs> it's like the hot chick standing there with the sword and the tentacle is just coming out from underneath her legs. There you go. There you go. Spoken like a true artist. Man. Oh, like for instance, uh, movie, shitty movies. I like that. You know. I probably get my balls busted, but like fucking uh, Shark Sharknado. No, I like Sharknado. Yeah, I'll, I'll, fucking, I'll, I'll fucking watch them all day. Uh, Amanda B says, uh, "I saw the trailer a long time ago and thought it looked good, but I am a girl and no, no comic canon." Oh, uh, Madam Web. Oh right. Yeah. I thought she was talking about Rock the Pussy. I was like, <laughs> Amanda B, let this be. <laughs> we already know Amanda's. Uh... Thumbs down on it. So no, I, 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 oh, man, you want uh, to be a prude? I don't think <laughs> no. so. I, I bet everyone. I'm going to make a prediction. I think everyone's going to love uh, Rock the Pussy. Even he's NPC is going to like it. Uh, he are uh, he's he's biased. He already made up his mind. <laughs> I think he's going to go in like. Yeah, eh, and then watch him like, ah, oh, what the fuck? Oh, okay. Maybe, maybe you never had a group of friends to, to talk about it afterwards. So, mm. NPC, join us next week. And join yeah. Jack Spot and Mark. Yeah. Chip in, man. <laughs> <laughs> Chris already, already yeah, got I'll be, I'll be here. here. This movie looks good. <laughs> Calling Amanda to be a prude, she's shocked. <laughs> that's unbrutal. Yeah, that's uh, whoever that was. Who said that? Uh, NPC says, NPC says, I've seen it and will watch it again. Oh, shit. There you go. Uh, Amanda B says, she seems like an ambitious gal. I may enjoy it more than you think, Dexter. Okay. Um, maybe better a second time type movie. Yeah, maybe. Yeah. Maybe Matrix is a better movie the second time around. I doubt it, but. <laughs> <laughs> That's one movie you don't like, Mark, is The Matrix. Yeah, I don't like The Matrix. You, you were there when I saw it. I know. It was one of the. Yeah, know. everyone's like raving. I was like, it's like one of the greatest movies. <laughs> you might like the uh, the AI version where they they replace Keanu Reeves with Brandon Lee. That's pretty cool. Oh, that'd be incredible. Could Isn't they do it and happen? replace him with Corey Haim? <laughs> <laughs> you can you can really look that up though. The uh, the, the Brandon yeah. Lee. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh yeah. And, oh shit. Mm. Corey Haim in the Matrix. That would be awesome. Heat star starring Corey Haim and Corey Feldman. <laughs> Off the top of your head. Between, like, uh, like Feldman Nero. would be like Agent Smith and like <laughs> Haim would be Neo. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, Agent Smith should be Charlie Sheen. Oh. Oh. Ho, 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 ho. Like yeah. A dark turn. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That'd be good. I'm, I'm now, now, now I'm picturing of what, like Gary Busey as Morpheus. <laughs> <laughs> Corey Barton in the yeah. meet. KB mm -hmm. in the house. Well, uh, um, that'll do it uh, this week. Well, hold on, hold on. Anyway. Off the top of your head, off the top of your head, favorite horror movie, real quick. Well, Lost Boys is my favorite movie, but is that really like a horror movie? Mm, I guess it counts. I guess it's Lost Boys. But I would say like a slasher type movie, uh, I'd probably go with Halloween. 
Mm. I'm going original, original Elm Street because that movie scared me for oh, weeks. Man. Yeah, it's I'm telling, I, I couldn't sleep for like a week and a half. My eye, like I was just afraid to shut my eyes. I'm going the original Elm Street. Yeah, great movie. What are you, bot? I don't know. Right now, there's so many. In this moment, I'm going to say American World in London. Mm. Classic. Oh, thing. The thing. John Carpenter's version, I think. The thing is the fantastic. Oh, yeah. It's fantastic. my number two movie of all time. <laughs> oh, so good. Chris? Yeah, I was just curious. You got to share it, Chris? I share the thing. Oh, the thing? Okay. Yeah, where oh, are you at? Course. He was zoned out. <laughs> I was thinking about Heat starring Corey. <laughs> that shootout at the end, you know, with, with oh my gosh, that'd be amazing. Wait, what was how about the other? How about that one? What's that one with um Corey Heyman called Corey Feldman when they with the girl blown away? What's it called? Blown away, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. That is the that is heat. That's basically their heat. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that, that's Mark's heat. We're gonna we're, we, we have to review Blown Away for the Haunted Pizza Movie Club. Let's do it. That that'd be a great, great movie to start off with. We're gonna do Corey Week or Corey Month. Wow. I like it. <laughs> Oof. Don't be a hater, Chris. <laughs> I'm not hating. Hello, be like Hame. <laughs> uh, Amanda Bia is a, a Johnny <laughs> Depp fan as well. Mm. All right, that'll do it. Anyone have anything they'd like to share before we uh, wrap this up? Just looking forward to uh, Rock the Pussy, man. Yeah, yeah. who was it? All right, uh, Dex, where can people find you? Uh, I'm on I, we call it IG. Is that what you call it? The Gram. Instagram, the Gram. Uh, Dex the Week 6975. Uh, on Twitter, also Dexter underscore art. And Facebook, just look up my name, Dexter Weeks. Always posting new art, trying to. You know, show anything that I'm working on. So, share my screen. Oh. Okay. Share my screen.com. <laughs> so, that's from Rock the Pussy. Yeah. 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 Great, great <laughs> composition here. The way the chains sit in the back, the backlighting, the colors. Know, those, yeah. The color scheme. Colors, no tangents. Right. No tangents. <laughs> Amanda B may be the heater next week, she says. <laughs> it's all good, Amanda. Good stuff. Good stuff. Mm -hmm. uh, Chris, where can people find you at? <laughs> um, yeah, Not sure. on this show? <laughs> yeah, uh, yeah. Every Sunday at like Easy five lady. something on uh, oh. Rodney Payne uh, Horror Movie Club. <laughs> uh, the Grave underscore site. Twitter and uh, Chris underscore Graves Art, uh, TikTok and Instagram. And uh, uh, they call me PTB. I'm a part time baller. So I'm on the uh, ballers 11, Friday night, 11 30, I think it is, 11 o'clock. Nice. Good time. Oh, and Revolution, baby, Wednesday, seven. <laughs> <laughs> Enrico, where can people find you? I don't know. Probably like, sitting alone at a Denny's, like crying mm. coffee. I don't know. Something like that. I might go to Denny's after this. Oh, that, sounds, that sounds good. Are they still around? I mean, like, there's one in Vineland. <laughs> okay. That's a fucking hike for Denny's. Yeah, that's dude. a little hike. Yeah. 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 It's worth it. It's worth so, it. Enrico, what are you ordering? The, the Rudy, Tutti, Fruity, uh, whatever that thing's called. Yeah, yeah. Just, just, you know, <laughs> just yeah. like a happy breakfast. Yeah, that sounds about right. <laughs> in Vineland, though, they call it Denny's. <laughs> come on violent that's uh that's the the home of uh rising pain come on yeah i mean and if i'm not there enrico bought it on instagram will do well i'm gonna go to denny's after this and look for you okay. um you can find me on uh x and instagram at coney waves uh us assassin go sign up for uh the indiegogo campaign uh, launching soon. In the meantime, you can get it over on Fund My Comic. Sign up for Rise and Pain Book Two. Chris is going to cr crank this book out in two months once he's ready. He's uh, he's promised me. Ah, he's still working <laughs> on his eleven by seventeen word. <laughs> he said, "I'll have this book done, just like I'm on uh, 
Rod and Payne Horror Movie Club every week. That's how dedicated I'm to it. <laughs> <laughs> I had to figure out where I was going with that. Um, yeah, and right. Graveyard Shift, guys, five days left. How many more uh, stretch goals can we unlock? We already unlocked that Chris Gray's print. We need more. So uh, five days left to uh, to get it. And that'll do it. We'll be back Wednesday. Actually, you know, Sean and I might be uh, streaming some fulfillment TV because, uh, as Mark Pengren announced, we'll be uh, we'll be fulfilling the uh, triple connecting cover. So be on the lookout. We may fire up a, a stream whenever. So you guys are more than welcome to hang out with us. Great, uh, Mandy B. Thank you for sharing the links. Mark Pengren, thank you for taking the notes <laughs> and the minutes. Uh, you can you can send them to me after the stream. All right, guys, thanks for watching. We'll see you uh, next time here on Primetime Polton. Bye.